5.30, Boston Latin students Zoom bombed with racist, derogatory, and sexually explicit content during a class. Now, the school says the person who made the comment somehow got the link to join the class. And this has been a problem for schools all across the country, as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us. On Monday, a Boston Latin school virtual class was interrupted by what was described as racist, derogatory, and sexually explicit content from a person outside the classroom. The incident known as Zoom bombing immediately forced the host to end the session. The virtual environment itself um, opens up an entirely new um, entryway or environment for um, criminals or others that want to uh, abuse or take advantage of, of children in learning environments. Cybersecurity expert Peter Tran says instances like the one at Boston Latin School are happening all over. Earlier this year, Medway police investigated a Zoom bombing incident involving the middle school. On the national level, it's become uh, quite um, pervasive as far as um, Zoom bombing. Today, Attorney General Maura Healy's office announced a new initiative for schools to help prevent and address hate and bias. We want schools to know their legal obligations, how to prevent harassment and bullying, what kind of uh, curricula and training and education that you need to provide, and also what to do when something happens. Trans says when it comes to learning, students need to feel secure, whether they're online remotely or here at school, and controlling their environment is key to safe and effective learning. So if you take a virtual roll call, for example, and you have 20 people invited, and all of a sudden you have 22, uh, something's probably wrong. Boston Latin School officials informed all students and parents of the Zoom bomb and have also provided meet safety tips for students and families. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.